Uh, this is a story. A, a student at George Washington High School, and this is from last week. We missed it. A uh, student from George Washington High School in Charleston, West Virginia, is seeking an injunction in Kanawha Circuit Court against the school's principal last week uh, after she alleges he threatened to call the college where she's been accepted and tell them that she has a bad character. And why? Because she spoke up in public and to the press, I guess, about a, an assembly that the principal set up at the school. Her name is Caitlin Campbell. She is the student body vice president. She refused to go to this assembly where the Christian speaker, and I think that's sort of a narrow definition for what she does, Pam Stenzel, told students that condoms weren't safe, made uh, some of the students cry uh, by saying uh, that they were 10 times more likely to contract the disease or end up sterile or dead if they take birth control. If your mom gives you birth control, she probably hates you. Uh, the, she was... One... Uh, um, freshman student said she was attacking and bashing the girls more. She was saying that it was all our fault. She was just crazy. She said things like, it's your parents' fault for putting you on birth control, and that birth control makes you more sexually active and more likely to get STDs. So this uh, student, Caitlin Campbell, a senior, basically um, spoke to uh, CNN, they spoke to the local papers saying that the principal, a guy named George Allenbacher, <laughs> was knowingly psychologically abusing students. And so she's telling this to, I guess, uh, the local newspaper and ends up CNN picks up the story. And so Allenbacher calls her into her office, and Campbell has been saying that, look, West Virginia has the ninth highest pregnancy rate in the U.S. I should be able to be informed in my school what birth control is and how I can get it. With the policy at GW under Georgia Allenbacher, information about birth control and sex education has been suppressed. Our nurse wasn't allowed to talk about where you can get birth control for free in the city of Charleston. So Allenbacher calls the student into his office and said, I am disappointed in you. This is according to her, her relation of the exchange. I am disappointed in you. How could you go in the press without telling me? He then allegedly threatened to call her college, where she's been accepted, and tell them about her actions. How would you feel if I called your college and told them what a bad character ha you have and what a backstabber you are? This is according to the complaint been filed uh, with the uh, circuit court where the injunction is being um, filed. According to the lawyer, we simply want to make sure that my clients and other students expressing their opinions are protected for exercising their First Amendment rights. No uh, student should be concerned about their future for publicly expressing their opinion. Well, just to give you a sense of how um, dim this principle turns out to be, the college where Caitlin Campbell has been accepted <laughs> is, is Wellesley College in Massachusetts, perhaps one of the most liberal, progressive, all women's colleges in the country. Not perhaps, certainly one of them. Uh, and Wellesley uh, tweeted. I guess this was just the other day. Caitlin Campbell Wellesley is excited to welcome you this fall. So uh, this, um, I mean, I'm surprised that after this event, they haven't said, oh, and incidentally, you will pay nothing for your four years here. We've just made you a trustee of the university. 
It's like you think of all those parents, especially in the Northeast, who are so anxious about getting their kids into good schools and are always coming up with different schemes to pass right. resumes. And they're like, how can our daughter get into a what extracurricular with a act- principle? Yes. <laughs> there you go, uh, folks. You can only imagine now, like, there's, like, literally schools like Smith is now trying to woo her away from Wellesley. There's colleges lined up across the country basically saying, we will give you, trying to outbid each other for this uh, student to attend. Unbelievable. How stupid do you have to be It's that principal? unbelievable. West Virginia, uh, this uh, school, man.